Hello and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we'll be talking about a common error that comes up within SOLIDWORKS electrical installations when exporting files to PDF. A common workflow that we do within SOLIDWORKS electrical is we'll want to export all of our drawings using the export PDF files function under the import export tab. However, we may get an error showing the following printer is required for PDF export. The other error you might receive is exporting PDF files requires the installation of ghost script. To solve this issue, the first thing you'll have to do is go into the file explorer, into the C drive, program files, SOLIDWORKS Core, SOLIDWORKS Electrical, and then into the ghost script folder. Normally, the files in here would be underneath another subfolder called bin. Move those files into this folder, and then you can delete the bin folder. The next step, we'll have to open up the registry editor and run it as an administrator. In this window, we'll have to change some registry keys. If you're not comfortable using the registry editor, please contact your local VAR for support. We'll have to navigate to the first one, which is underneath the HKey Local Machine Software, Trace Software, SolidWorks Electrical Services. In the list here, we'll be looking for a key named PDF printer name, and its value should say PDF creator. If this is not in that list, you'll have to create this key, which will be showing how to create a new key later in this video. The other key we'll have to change is under HKey current user, software, trace software, SolidWorks electrical. And finally, under settings. Here we're looking for a specific key and it's not within the list, so in this case we'll have to create it. You can right click in the white area, click select new, and create a new string value. You'll name this string value custom temp dir. Press enter to create this key, then right click it and select modify. In value data, we'll type c colon backslash temp. This is going to be setting the C drive temp folder as your custom temporary directory. The other thing we'll have to do is download the PDF creator. You can find this at download.pdf.org. Download the installation media necessary for installing PDF creator and run it. In the installation window that pops up, select your language, click OK, and then select Next. You can deselect PDF Architect as we don't need this. If there's extra software wishing to be installed, you can skip this or click No Thanks. Finally, once the installation is complete, we can click Finish. Back in SOLIDWORKS Electrical, we'll test this out and try exporting our files to PDF. We should see a name PDF Creator, and then we can test out printing out our entire drawing list. 